<laughs> One. Oh, look at you. We're going to have so much fun, we are. Wakey wakey. <laughs> Help. Ow, ow. Take him, witch! Oh, no greater fool trots this land. And a crinkle me spine, Shut brother. your prattling, knave! I am of no relationable. There is a vacancy. Oh, I told you, brother, I clubbed the smarts from her, I did, I did. That you did. Fine, brother. <laughs> I snuck up on her while she was sleeping, like, yeah? Not sleeping. Surely she would have awakened. I'd venture to say she was more recovering. Well, from what, dear brother? What was she drinking? Drinking heavily, mate. Well, I suppose we better finish her off then. Where are you, my brother? Let me. Always did take the plane <laughs> with your food. See that her corpse is distinguishable. Fetch a pretty coin, it will. I'll go see to the horses. Bisa refused to get anywhere near here. Button, button, button. See right here. This is my favourite part, <laughs> because I laugh, you cry. <laughs> well, it's not going to help you, none. Because yeah. now you're my plaything, and I'm not going to give you up, lovely. <laughs>
I put an ad in the paper for a roommate. The new home is kind of lonely with no one there but me. It echoes at night. Gives me chills. I'd almost pay for someone to stay there just for the company. It's only been a month since my father passed away. Some writer I am. I had had the block a month before he died. I expected maybe I would gain some insight from my sorrow and tragedy. But I have felt nothing since he's been gone. I miss you so much, Daddy. Technically, this would be my second day at St. Joseph's High, although I had been enrolled for about a week and a half. Unfortunately for me, I was suspended a week on my first day at school. I guess you could say I wasn't fitting in. Authenticated. Encrypted tunnel established. Awaiting command. But more about my writing. I had started what felt like an amazing idea that takes place in a fantasy medieval age. A tale of dragons, warlocks, mythical creatures, and raven. A 15-year-old badass ninja samurai chick not to be messed with. so tough to me. Hopeless little fly caught my web. Look guys, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna be late for class and my homeroom teacher, she's a real royal. Which? Way ahead of my little mocha bean. Where to in such a rush? I thought I'd just explain. Wait, don't you guys go to the same school as me? the end of the road for you, Mocha Bean. I'm about to put a world of hurt on you. But what do you expect from your arch nemesis? The yin to your yang, the lex to your kent, the big to your bang, the two-faced to your Harvey Dent. Wait, but aren't two-faced and Harvey Dent the same person? I mean, big to my bang, I just don't know where you're- Whatever! It rhymed! Mm -hmm. None of which matters. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to me. I'm, I'm sorry, I did what to- Wait, who, who are you people again? Who are we? We need no introduction. But allow me to introduce us anyway. Jason Smith, Star Varsity Point Guard, St. Joseph's Angels basketball team. And before you even ask me, you're totally not my type. Lynn Maddox, Varsity Cheerleader, two-year chess champion, valedictorian. Second in command. Julie Bakerspiel, Varsity Cheerleader, four-year Spelman Bee champion, head of the drama club. 
Manasa Das, we call her Manny, editor in chief of St. J's Yearbook. She's an Indian exchange student. All of us make the perfect. And I'm pure, perfect, and completely unmarked. But if I were marked, it would be with a tattoo. And if it were a tattoo, it would be of Kali, the embodiment of destruction. What did I say about your mouth? Where was I? Line? All of us make. All of us make the perfect team. We're smart, talented, athletic. Hot, popular, and diverse. You have met your... Hey! Where are you going? I'm talking here! Well, I was gonna grab a cup of coffee on my way. Did you want me to grab something for you? Wait, what, what's your name again? What's my name? What's my name? I'm Chloe Zaccarello! The most popular girl at St. Joseph's High? Head varsity cheerleader? Homecoming queen, four years running. No, nothing. The girl whose life you ruined a week ago! Oh, yeah. It was my first day at St. Joseph's High, and some dumb jock was trying to make an example of his insecurities about life and himself by picking on me. Hey, new girl. I said, hey, new girl. Let her go, Bradley. This emo-looking mocha bean isn't worth our time. Yeah, you're right, babe. Look at the way she's dressed. Do you honestly wear that every day? <laughs> 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 So that douchebag was your boyfriend? Yes, he was my boyfriend, and you knocked all of his teeth out. Do you know how awkward it is to kiss someone? To date someone with no teeth? What am I, 40? Why don't you just break up with him? He's kind of an ass anyways. Break up with him just because he's got no teeth? How superficial and shallow do you think I am? But didn't you break up with him already? Besides, his dad's like totally rich, he's got a nice car and insane trust fund. It's simple. I'm popularist, he's popularist, uh, and it- I'm most popular. Kid it, Julie! It just works like this and you ruined everything! So, what do you, what do you want from me? I've done my research on you, little missy, and I happen to know that your father owned a billion dollar weapons manufacturing company. He died about a month ago, leaving you as the beneficiary of his estate. Well, that's impressive, because that information's not easy to come by. Yeah, I know people. So, what do you want from me? I want 20 every day to keep me from doing to you what you did to my life. You want me to give you $20,000 every day? Don't be ridiculous. $20. I'm rich, bitch. It's not about the money, it's the principle. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I roll your boyfriend, and you think your little prestigious is gonna come and handle me like I'm your bitch. Now, unless this melting pot of impressive youthful integration is about to connect and form some kick as you in Voltron, get all Gundam on me, I think I'm just gonna have to choose option B. And what's option B? I kick you and your friend's ass and leave you with enough feelings in your lips to kiss some mine. Bring it, bitch. Hey!